the Black Lives Matter movement uh, and, and, and the global change that we're seeing. Can you share your thoughts on that, please? I have a lot of thoughts on the subject and, you know, just trying to, to bring that all together into something meaningful is difficult. You know, I, I've had wonderful experiences in my life and, and there have been some challenges as well. I mentioned that with, you know, a glass ceiling that I was, I was warned of within uh, General Motors and, and my persistence broke through that on several levels. Um, it concerns me when that, you know, for some people it's such, it's such a new thing, Black Lives Matters, but why should it be? And where were these people even last month? And what were their views and their opinions last month? I, so, you know, I struggle with that a bit. Uh, most people don't realize that the day, you know, when I, I spent a year in Germany working in the design studios at Opel. And before I went, there were, I had friends that were, oh, aren't you concerned going to Germany, you know? how you'll be treated and all, you know, it's just, you know, on and on and on. They were afraid for me, concerned. Well, the day before I left, there was uh, a dinner event with the studio that I had in, in Michigan. We had a small dinner event. And when I left that, um, you know, gradually through the evening, there were fewer, fewer people. It was just me and a couple people, a couple women. And when I left there, um, I was pulled over as soon as I pulled out of the restaurant and it was in a suburb, a far suburb of Detroit. And I was pulled over on this dark road by three police cars. And they got me out of the car. They didn't ask me if I had been drinking. They, they mentioned something about me speeding. Well, the car I was driving, there was no way it could even get up to the speed limit in that short length of time. I knew to, you know, and I hadn't been drinking because the very next day I was getting on a plane and I still had a lot of packing to do before <laughs> I was moving to, to Germany. And they just put me through so much. It was the scariest moment of my life. Mm. And it's even difficult today to talk about what these police officers put me through. Three police cars on this dark road with this field with tall grass next to it and not knowing, what well, you know, where is this going to lead to? Wow. And I knew that that was not the time to, to have a great argument with them you know, to discuss what it was. And then all of a sudden they just let me go, you hmm. know, and, but uh, I'll never forget that, that night. Uh, and I've never really shared that with people. No. And, you know, the next day I, and I got home and it was just, it was tough driving home. And uh, the next day I left for Germany. 